But the radiance that you're seeing, that's coming from within. Hello there, sweet souls! My name is Maxine Magalona and today I will be playing Ask Me Anything here on Preview. So I heard that you guys sent in quite a lot of questions. Mm, am I ready for this? <laughs> I'm excited and I can't wait to answer your questions and I hope that I can be of help somehow. My meditation seat and my mini altar. I always have it with me and um, it's really something that keeps me grounded because I am Vata, my Ayurvedic constitution, I am more Vata Pita. And so Vata means I have a lot of air inside of me and um, that's why when I travel a lot and I go to different places, I need something that will ground me and that is my practice. So every morning I meditate and even if I'm traveling, especially when I'm traveling because if not, I'm just gonna be all over the place so I need to ground myself, calm myself so that I can enjoy more of my travels. Yoga wear! <laughs> I'm always in my yoga wear like it's just for me I love just doing yoga and then going running my errands so it's always my yoga pants my yoga top or like my 1c yoga suit uh, I just feel more like active I love having a, an active lifestyle so yoga wear is the best for me because it makes me feel comfortable and I get to do my errands comfortably and then I get to practice yoga and meditate wherever I want <laughs> Self-care for me is self-acceptance, accepting everything about yourself, looking at yourself honestly in the mirror, and being honest with yourself. You know, whatever that you need to work on, you know, we have to do a lot of not just self-care, but self-work. And that is how we care for ourselves. It's not just about bubble bath, massages, facial treatments. Those are all good. But what we really need to take care of is our soul, what's inside. Look, if you take care of your soul, everything else will follow on the outside. Meditation is key. That is how I mean, that is how I start my day and I really believe meditation is the foundation for all humans. Whatever your work is, whatever your job is, uh, whatever your environment is, as long as you meditate, it will really help you calm yourself. It will help you align yourself, align mind, body and spirit so that you can do your work with more clarity, with more precision, with more certainty because you are sure of yourself. When you meditate, you really connect to the deepest part of who you truly are. That is what we are doing in meditation. We are connecting to our inner world. Because when our inner world is calm, peaceful, when it is clear, then the outer world will follow. Our outer world is a reflection of our inner state. So make sure to take time in your day to take care of what is happening underneath the surface. So please, please try meditation if you haven't yet. Start with five to 10 minutes every morning. And then if you can build it up to at least 30, to 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, it's up to you whatever resonates with your soul. But I really believe meditation can do you wonders. Oi, thank you. Skincare routine, siempre flawless. I love my Flawless. Flawless is my go-to facial treatments. I also buy their um, products that I use. The eye skin toner, eye skin eye nutrients because I sometimes have dark circles under the eyes. So for my skin, personally, I use Flawless products. But the radiance that you're seeing, that's coming from within. I am actually working on my soul, on nurturing my soul, nourishing my soul, and doing whatever makes me happy, joyful. And so I meditate and I, I really make sure that I get enough sleep. And then I think happy thoughts. And even when there are negative thoughts, I sit with them. I cry if I need to, I let it go, and then I move forward. That's where the radiance comes in. So meditate and then also do the skincare treatment, skincare routine, that's, that's also very good. But make sure to work on your inner self because that is what's going to shine on the outside. Oh, my favorite workout, yoga. Yoga is my love, it is my, um, I love it. When I do yoga, it feels like I'm saying a prayer with my body. 
And I am thanking God. I am being grateful for this body that He gave me, for my breath, for just the idea of being able to move, you know, just express myself through movement. That's such a gift. And that's what yoga helps me do. It's a very holistic practice. It's actually not just a workout. Yoga is a work in. So that's my favorite workout. And I also love to run every day. I run every day. So what I did when I started out, I just literally went on YouTube and, and looked for different free yoga classes. Because God bless the kind teachers who put out free classes online. Thank you so much. Especially during the pandemic, we all needed that you know, that release, something that we can um, uh, direct our energy towards. And free classes online, there's such a godsend. And my favorite is Yoga Upload on YouTube. She's a Filipina teacher from, I forgot her name, I'm so sorry, um, but um, her name is Yoga Upload. And her classes really helped me. I just kept taking her free classes. And for a year or almost two years, she really inspired me to become a yoga teacher. So thank you so much, Miss Yoga Upload. <laughs> so for the beginners, don't be intimidated. I know people say, yoga is not for me because I'm not flexible or my body is not for yoga. That's not true. Yoga is for everybody and it's for every body type. So whatever your, um, whatever your current state right now, just try it and make sure to start with easy yoga classes. And again, listen to your body because yoga is a way to also connect with our bodies and to communicate. Listen to what your body is telling you. And if, if, if it feels like you're forcing it, that's not how it's supposed to go because you're going to injure yourself. So just take it easy and just try, try it. Again, yoga doesn't, um, it, it, it might work for some and it might work for others and what, however, whatever it is, just try it and just enjoy. And uh, yoga is very different. It's a very personal experience, different for everyone. And I'm just, if you just keep consistently practicing it, you will discover like how deep you can really go within yourself. Okay, when I was much younger, dumaan ako sa mga Ralph Lauren, yung blue na parang, you know this, the Ralph Lauren na parang bilog, na parang teal blue, parang ganyan, yun yung perfume ko before, and also cool water. Pero my favorite, favorite now, and it's been for years, hindi ko na siya pinalitan, Lanvan Eclat. It's my favorite talaga. Oh, and also Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I used to like that. Baka bumiling ako ulit noon. Ang mabango rin yun eh. But my, my favorite talaga is the purple one. Lanvan Eclat. Oh my goodness. You're just gonna mm, keep smelling good the whole day. And, and if I were to be a perfume, I would be Lanvan Eclat because that really shows off my personality, I feel. <laughs> okay, Lanvan Eclat. It smells very... Um, it's, it's fruity but flowery. And it's also very like, it, it smells graceful. That's what it smells like to me. Sorry, I don't know how to explain, but it's just really, I'll make you smell it later. <laughs> oh, I pray for them. I really, really do. I used to get triggered and I used to make patol. <laughs> I used to like send hate messages also when I was much younger. I'll not, I won't deny that. But now I decided that instead of ignoring them, instead of blocking, I also block, sorry. <laughs> That's my way of protecting my energy also. I block when I need to, especially the ones that are very, very disrespectful. But again, I can't control them. I can only control my response to them. And so how I respond is instead of just ignoring them, I use my energy to lift it in prayer. I pray for them so that I can send them good energy and then I can also soften my heart when I pray. So, si God ang bahala. Don't chase attract. Don't chase love. Don't keep looking for boys. Don't keep dating around. Don't worry. Um, everything is in perfect order. There's no need to rush. What you need to do is to look within and to work on your energy, to work on yourself before you even turn 30. 20 is such a beautiful um, time to, an age, uh, your 20s is going to be such a beautiful place of exploration and like unlimited possibilities. So don't just follow what everyone else is doing. Listen to your intuition, listen to your soul because your soul knows the way. It's your mind that you need to tame that you need to quiet down. So meditate. Meditate on what your soul really wants to tell you. Listen. Listen to your heart. And don't 
once you work on your energy and once you become and visualize your highest self, meditate and I want you to really visualize who you want to be in the future and start being that person today. Don't wait. So work on your energy. If you want love, you have to be love. So you can't love and then also hate others. You really have to love. If you want true love, you have to be love yourself. So there you have it. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So please don't forget to follow preview.ph and also me, my, my social media account, Maxine Magalona on Instagram. <laughs> Bye!